playlists. So many people again don't use those, so that's up to us, that's me, and you once you've learnt this technique to make great advantage of them. You can see I have quite a few. Very easy, you're going to Video Manager and Playlists, click New Playlists, give it a title, I'll just call this one Title for the sake of it, and you can choose whether it's going to be public, unlisted or private. I'm going to make this one for the moment unlisted because obviously that'll set it live. I'm going to create a new playlist. Just wait for a second for that to go up, and there it is. Right, now then, let me explain now that we've got that, what a playlist is. Imagine that somebody watches one of your films. They get to the end of the film, what are they going to do next? What would you like them to do next? Well, you'd like them to watch another of your films. Using a playlist, you put a series of films in the playlist, and guess what? When somebody gets to the end of that film, the next film in the playlist plays. It's just amazing. It's like the old days of uh, news cinemas. You just play one film after another, you sit there all day, and people can watch your film one after the other. On the right-hand side, it appears the title of the next film. Rather than showing other people's films, there's a big black box appears on the right-hand side, and YouTube are, are playing with this at the moment. You may get some slight variations. The big black box appears at the side. Thumbnail and graphic, they can see all the rest of the films in the series. They can look at them while they're watching your film on the left. And that increases your subscriber numbers no end. A couple of things you need to do. So obviously the title of the playlist and the description of it makes sense. And then you can add videos, you can call videos up down here and so on, uh, and put them in really easily. And I've got it set as, as unlisted at the moment. A couple of things you need to know is, let's go to the settings and show you. You've got a thing here called the official playlist. Now you may see sometimes in um, YouTube listings, it'll have the thumbnail of the film, the title of the film, a short description, and then in a black box the word official, which makes, it makes your uh, channel, your film, stand out really, really well. Use this setting for sets of videos uploaded to your channel as part of an official series. Most important this bit here, a video cannot appear in more than one series playlist. Okay, So you've got a video, normally a film can appear in as many playlists as you want, obviously you only put relevant films in, but uh, if you have an official playlist your film can only appear in that one. Now this is really fascinating here, if I get a mouse to work. YouTube may use this information to modify how the videos are presented or discovered. What you'll find, and it does take YouTube a few weeks to do this, I have to say, but if you've got a, um, um, a, a playlist and you've called it, I'm going to make something on the top of my head here, uh, latest fashion watchers, when somebody searches for that, they obviously have an interest in latest fashion watchers. I'm just using that as a silly example, obviously. People want to see a film or films about latest fashion watchers. If you've got a playlist and there are several films about latest fashion watchers, you will go up the rankings. You will appear much higher on the YouTube listings. I say it takes them a couple of weeks to do, but it's well worth doing. And it's again one of those things that's worth going back through your films, adding these, making your films in a playlist. So just to stress, people can still see your films individually, but in a playlist, if they watch one of those films, when the film comes to an end, they will usually, not always, but majority of the time, they'll be presented with the next film in the playlist. It doesn't always work when you're watching your own films, by the way, when you're logged in, so don't worry if it doesn't appear to work for you. But it doesn't always work for other people, and that's part of YouTube's testing. They may feel that somebody watching your film, because they have millions of data, might be better off seeing another film. But generally speaking, another person watching your film as part of a playlist the next film they'll see is the next film in the playlist that you have. You can change the order of the playlist, you can move very actions, you can put a whole lot of tags to them all, so on and so forth, a whole huge, huge number of things you can do. One crucial thing that I always forget, and after all this time I still make this mistake, once you've added some films to, the, to a playlist, they'll all appear down here. Let me just see if I can uh, show you a playlist in a second. But the most important thing you must do next is click the Done button. And that actually updates. Until you do that, it doesn't actually work. And a couple of times I've come out and thought, why isn't that working? So I've got a channel here on the Apple factory out in uh, China. And you can see four videos, 52 minutes, 92 views just on this. There's the films in the order that I want them. And I can move those around as I want. I can edit that particular playlist. And you can see here I want to select that one. We just tick at the side there. And then I've got actions come up here, and I can move it to the top, move the bottom, or remove it. I want to move that one to the top, and there it is at the top. You can add videos, and also I can sort by views, titles, date, random, and reverse. And I've got some titles and descriptions here. I've changed that. What do I need to do? You're absolutely right. I need to mark that as done. Just look in the settings there. 
I'm going to set that now as an official channel because I know nothing else is done there and that will really help my rankings there. Click done and that's done. Playlists are one of those silly little things that I don't know, people seem to not notice or miss out or whatever, but it's a very, very interesting um, feature and it can increase your views many, many fold.